on, you feel me? But I think it's important to not, to not dwell on the future and worry about the present because you, you focus on, on the future, you can miss what's right in front of your hands, you feel me? That's a fact, you know. That's why it's important to stay focused on your goals and, you know, and to, and to remind yourself what you're doing is, is to look out for you in the long run. And when you feel yourself relapsing on some, when you feel yourself relapsing on like progressing to your goals, you gotta remember what I'm what I'm doing right now can either affect the future me in a positive way or the future me in a negative way. It might feel like I right, it's it's cool to do right now, but the future you like you you, you get what I'm saying. So yeah, just keep that in mind with, when choosing your decisions and when you when you're doing shit like that. Nah. Another thing with like with music or like with just with just life in general, like you never want to place yourself in a box to where like you can't freely express who like you can't freely express yourself. You get what I'm trying to say? Like don't put yourself in a box to where like you can only do certain things and you can you too scared to expand because you you afraid of what the next person to think. I'm gonna put it like this: everybody all got their date to where they die, right? And we basically living to die. I know it's, it's bad to think about it like that, but we basically is. So like, when this limited time we got on earth, why be afraid of what the next person got to say about you? You, you get what I'm saying? Like, they gonna die too. Like one day, what they, one day they gonna be dead. You feel me? One day you gonna be dead. So everything that they saying, it don't, it don't really, it don't really affect you. It shouldn't affect you, you know, cause we all got a dog. Like I know a lot of people say that, but like really take that into consideration. Like, don't let nobody words get to you. Like, don't let don't let nobody tell you what what you can and cannot do. You feel me? Like with anybody. But I ain't gonna lie. It is it is important to um to take knowledge in. You feel me? Cause you don't want to be you don't want to be that type of person. I feel like you know that that they act like they know everything. Cause the know it alls get nowhere in life. To realize that they don't know it all, you feel me? So, shit, my advice to you is, you know, to um constantly like seek like knowledge, you feel me? Knowledge, knowledge gonna get you a long way in this life, you feel me? Like when you when you got knowledge, it's like it's like it's it's like different, it's like a different level of ball game, cause you see how this life really is. Like when you got knowledge, you know knowledge, certain certain stuff in life, you be like. Okay, that's why people do that thing. Okay, that's why uh, certain functions uh, do do what they do. You know, everything in life just slowly become revealed when you seek knowledge. So it's important that you seek out knowledge. You feel me? And always be trying to learn something. Always be trying to better yourself every day. You should not be in competition with nobody else but you. Your past self. Your past self. You know, every time how, how I make my decision, I'm gonna put you on some game. How I make my decisions, I'll be like. All right, so it's a right or left pathway. You know, one version of myself, the version that I be trying to change, you feel me? I think to, I think I put myself in that mindset, you feel me? What would this version, the, the version I don't like of me, that I'm trying to change, what would that version of me do? So say that version of me would chose left. In my mind, I'm be like, all right, I'm trying to be a better person than the, the me, a version I'm trying not to be, you feel me? So I'm gonna go on the right path. That's what you should do, you feel me? That's exactly what you should do. And once you start doing that, you're gonna see your life start improving day by day, you feel me? Day by day, no lie. With a lot of you, you feel me? So that's what you need to start doing, you feel me? If you're watching this, that's what you need to start doing, you feel me? And another thing, if you, I know I ain't in no position to, to, to give people advice about, you know, um, stuff with their career, but music wise, one thing I can say, like, bro, it's it's important for you to put your for you to put yourself out there on, on every social media platform that you can. Like, without you just really holding yourself back, like you really holding yourself back if you're not like constantly trying to put yourself out there. How how people gonna know your like it's 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 it's, it's I don't, don't want to say impossible because anything is possible, but it's it's like I don't know one point. One 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 percent chance, you feel me, that you just gonna blow up without even promoting yourself, without even putting yourself out there. Cause people not gonna, if people don't see your face, how they gonna see you? 
You feel me? People don't know your voice. How they gonna know you? And like, it, it's just, like no cap. Like we in the we in the era of technology right now, and and social media savvy. So it's like you gotta use everything to to your advantage. Everything to your best ability. Like even the days when you just feeling. Like I don't wanna do none. At least post at least upload a TikTok, you feel me? That's gonna that's gonna get you somewhere. That's at least your main objective to be I I gotta show at least one person my me. I gotta at least show one person my music. I gotta at least show one person my my taste. I gotta at least show one person, you know, my 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 uniqueness, my ability. Like you feel me? Like right, and then when you go from there, like all right, let me get five to six people. Five to six people to show, you know, five to six people to show my my daily routine. Five to six people to show, um, you know, my art, my craft. Five to six people to show what I do, like how how what I do behind the scenes in, in regards to doing what I'm trying to show to the world. You feel me? Like that's what you need to be doing. Like, okay. You no, know, I ain't no therapist, but one thing I can say: going on walks and even vlogging, like. What I'm doing right now, like you don't even gotta post it. Like if say if you just vlog and talk to yourself, that really so much. Like like when I be like trying to cut off from the you know smoking and smoking the herbs and stuff like that, I find going on walks and listening to music, that that it basically do the same thing like smoking a joint, like no cap, like that's it's it's real soothing. Like I ain't gonna lie, like walking, and listening to music, especially at nighttime or or whatever, it's just peaceful. Whenever it's peaceful to you, do that. I'm telling you, man, like, bro, do that, man. Do that. And on, on top of you getting your mental right and on top of that being soothing, you also doing your 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 body a favor by getting your cardio in too. You feel me? And another thing, meditate. Make sure you meditate for souls. Like, I ain't saying you gotta be no no real yoga master, your no real spiritual mother person, you feel me? But at least meditate. You gotta meditate for, for souls.